And welcome back to the Factor on Censored. Is this a sign that the era of the BBL is over, which means Brazilian butt lift? Some people online certainly think so. Someone posted this before and after shot of actress Bryce Dallas Howard. It appears her backside was digitally altered to look smaller in a poster from Jurassic World. We know everything's bigger in Jurassic World. Just leave it alone. Although this was done a few years ago, it may also suggest the look of the thin is coming back in, back in style, which can also lead to body image issues. I think the pandemic just took our eyes off of a lot of balls. And what it really did was create um, more tension, more intensity around things that have always existed. And the other thing I think the pandemic did was put us all more in front of screens, in front of cameras. And that has probably led to why we're seeing this increase in disordered eating and problematic behaviors around our bodies. And if we're looking at social media a lot, we're seeing many of these celebrities with uh, bodies that young girls and some young boys are trying to emulate, but many of these celebrities have augmentation mm -hmm. that some don't know about. And so they're trying to reach a goal that may be unattainable. Yes, very much so. So I have a general rule. I just assume if it's somebody with status or someone that's a celebrity, that their body is enhanced. That some work has been done, right? And that could be um, minimally or it could be a lot. But what a lot of people get confused is <laughs> it's just where I am. I say I just, <laughs> um, but I think the, um, the problem is most young women in particular don't fully comprehend that, right? So they see that as the ideal, they see that as the goal, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get there. Now, if you notice your child, friend, or family member going through anorexia or bulimia, what should you do? Yeah, so this is a really tough area. This is really one of those areas where the person who is sick, um, who has the disorder, really needs the one needs to be the one to be in the forefront of treatment. Forced treatment for eating disorders just does not work. Um, and so, if you know someone that you, that is struggling with disordered eating, certainly open the conversation with them, talk to them, share your concerns, offer opportunities for treatment, but also be willing to be patient and supportive in ways that it has to come from them. Now, what about an individual who may be going through something and they may be depressed and as a result, not eating or overeating? Mm -hmm. um, is that different than the standard case of anorexia and bulimia where you are chasing a body image that you may not be able to attain? So the short answer is yes, but also and, right? So for some people, um, using food as a way to comfort and or create a sense of control can be a function of being depressed or anxiety or something that feels um, maybe even more temporary. You see that often with grief or when people are under ex extreme stress. And sometimes for folks that can trigger an eating disorder, right? And so one, it starts off as one thing and it can become a different thing. And particularly because of food, our relationship to food, our body image is really um, something that we talk a lot about in this culture where we have really specific standards for. Um, we t and we, there's a lot of fat phobia is the term that we talk about, right? I have to look a certain way to feel a certain way about myself. And so food is one of those areas where it becomes really, really tricky, um, where it can start off as one thing and turn into something else.